everyone and a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have covered that what are tags in our HTML. In our today's session, we will be talking about the attributes. So guys, to understand attribute, I'll just directly take you to the browser because no definition is enough. And I'll just give you a practical explanation to simply understand what is attribute. So here on our uh, website, I have opened the same website and if I talk about this, so these were our, what these were headers, inside the headers also we were having different tags and uh, if I talk about headers previously, that we learned about headers, right? So if I have div tag inside div, uh, if I have any other tag, for example, we found the ul tag somewhere, right? Which was an ordered list. So if I want to get all the ul tags, I'll be writing dot ul, okay? And if I run this, this will give me the ul tags here that it starts from ul and inside the ul we have list items and we have a tags and if you want to get the a tags only, then you can just write a here that we have got the a tag. Similarly, I guess we have something called as p tag here. If I open this, I mean if I run this, we get the web scrapper that only web scrapper is written in the paragraph tag and then later we can obtain the text from here as well these were our tags if i talk about the attributes over here so for attribute what i'll do i'll just uh, remove this and i'll put it inside something so this was what this was our tag right so let's just stick with the div only as of now so tag is equals to soup dot div this was our tag now if i talk about the attribute now what is an attribute here let's understand that so here with the div you can see we have a class over here we have a ID over here. If I go down and there, I will be finding style. Those things also will be called as what? Those things will be called. That means something that is an orangish color. That is our attribute over here. So ID over here is an attribute. Style is an attribute. Okay, class over here is an attribute. And here we have different classes. As you can see, we have container, we have row, we have column MD3. And if you want to see its attributes over here, all you need to do is go back to your code. And here you can simply write print uh, tag dot attrs and let's run it. And you will see that we have a attribute in the div tag we have an attribute called as class which is uh, which has container. Similarly, if I don't talk about uh, div, if I talk about the header, okay, that soup dot header, there is a tag called as header as well. Let's uh, come here and see. So here we have header. Inside the header, if I talk about the attribute that in the header tag, how many attributes are there? So in the header tag, we have two attributes. One is the role. Inside the role, we have role here is a key and banner here uh, is a value. Again, class here is a key and navigation bar, navigation bar, fixed top and uh, navigation bar static over here are the different attributes here. So this is how you can access the attributes. That means you can get the attributes if you pass over here print because it's a dictionary now, right? So you can create, call it any dictionary like ATB. Let's call it ATB here. And from ATB, if you want to get anything, suppose if I pass class over here in the square bracket, so we will be using our simple Python functions. If I write class here, we will be getting the three attributes that is related to the class. That means we will be getting its values over here. That is navigation bar, navigation fixed top, uh, navigation bar static. Similarly, if I if I would have written role over here, for role we had the key, uh, role is the key and the value we had over here was the banner. So if I run it, I will be getting banner here. So this is what attributes are. As of now, all you need to understand is that the purple thing is the tag and the yellow or orangish thing, whatever you call it, this is what, this is our attribute. So these are the two things. So I hope that over here it is clear that if you see the HTML, what are the different things. So everything that is in purple color here is a tag and everything that is in yellow or orangish color, that is our attribute. In our next session, we will be talking about the navigable strings. So I will be explaining you what navigable strings are. So I hope guys that you have no doubts in the question in what attributes are in our next session. We will be talking about navigable strings. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.